Ambassador John Negroponte, who I uh, interrupted for the president. Thank you for your patience, Ambassador. But what do you think happens now? Iran obviously not pleased with this. It, it says it has honored that agreement. Uh, what do you think? Well, I think, first of all, uh, I think we need to, people need to keep their powder dry. This is just one procedural step. He said he believes in a two step process. He's uh, handing it over to Congress now to debate it and look at it and examine and make recommendations. When you think about it, the agreement was approved previously by a sort of a default process. Uh, Congress didn't override the agreement, but it, it went in. It went into effect uh, basically on the executive branch's say so. So I think now you can expect a thorough debate. And then you've got the issue of uh, managing uh, relationships with Europe and others and, and seeing if there may be parts of that agreement that Iran uh, might be willing to uh, renegotiate. Up to now, of course, they've been saying absolutely no, they won't, because they didn't want the president to take the step that he took. Yeah. But now that he's put it, uh, you know, he's opened the, he's put the subject on the table. They're going to have to think hard about what their interests are. And also, I do think the well, president's got a point about their behavior in some of these other places like uh, like Yemen, Iraq, Syria and so forth, which have been very problematic, not only for us, but for the other countries in the region. Now, of course, Iran uh, is, is also involved in North Korea. We are told and North Korea has threatened to up its sort of military might and respond maybe soon with more tests and the like. Uh, is this move he had with Iran to deal with this a signal you think he is sending to North Korea as well? Well, I, I mean, I, certainly in terms of the firmness of his policy and his determination to deal with uh, nonproliferation uh, issues, and we ought to also remember that that Syrian reactor that was knocked out by uh, Israel back in 2006 that was being built in, uh, in Syria was being built by North Korean workers, and I'm sure that uh, their access to Syria was facilitated by Iran. So there, there has been in the past, and there may well continue to be, a nexus between uh, uh, Iran and North Korea. Now, uh, so far, the president has not talked about any additional sanctions or reimposed sanctions, sir. I mean, is that his way of saying, I'm not going to jump the gun and do crazy stuff here, uh, but I could? How, how do you sorry. interpret that? You know, I didn't hear the last part. Somebody was interrupting. I, 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 pardon me. I, I, I apologize. No, uh, that no. He is so far, he is so far held off on on additional sanctions or reimposing sanctions. What do you think the strategy is there? I think he's waiting for Congress to act. But he said, if Congress can't act, then he's going to, uh, you know, take those steps himself. Now, I think he is advocating more sanctions uh, as soon as possible against the Iran Revolutionary Guard Corps and anything that has to do with Iran's sponsorship of terrorism. I think there he'd like to take uh, quick and immediate action. But as far as the action on the nuclear agreement is concerned, I think he's waiting for the reaction of Congress. So real quickly, I know you're not a market guy. You follow far weightier international issues. Well, the markets are still up and in record territory, Ambassador. So if they're worried about this leading to some big international crisis, they have a funny way of showing it. Do you think that's that they're just being naive, or could this develop into something? What? I mean, if you look at the geopolitical risks uh, around the world, uh, I'm not sure I would rate uh, the situation vis-a-vis -vis Iran between Iran and the United States as uh, very high up there at this particular point in time. It's a, mm. it's definitely a problem. It's a longer-standing one, but I, I would put the Korean Peninsula higher uh, on that scale, and and, and as you've noticed, even even there. The markets have uh, seemed so far to take in that to take that situation in their stride. But if there were ever any kind of yeah. uh, a more hostile activity to take place, then I, I, I should expect you would see uh, the markets uh, price in that risk pretty quickly. You might have a future as a market watch if you ever wanted <laughs> to take the pay cut, Ambassador. But thank you very, very much.